Welcome to the Week 7 49ers Film Breakdown. Welcome to, uh, we are your hosts, your film docents, Grant Cohn, Jack Hammer. How you doing, Jack? I'm good. How you doing, Grant? I'm good. I'm really excited to watch the film of this because we were sitting together in the in the press box watching, but it's always more illuminating to watch it on film. And I think something that they talked about a lot on TV was the fact that the Niners had things that worked on offense that they got away from. In the run game, it was what looked to me like counter gap runs. And they were extremely effective in the first quarter. It looked like they got away from it. Did they? I want to see. Or was there some type of adjustment that Indianapolis made? Also, play action. I think Jimmy was 8 of 11 on play action. Why didn't? Why couldn't they have done more of it? Those are the two things I want to look for. When things work and you get away from them, I'm curious as to why. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And and I, I want to look at the, the run game as well. And kind of what I've seen, we'll go through that right away here because they're gonna we're going to see lots of run uh, run plays right off the bat. So it'll be a fun breakdown, I think. There's a couple questions we want to get to just before uh, we start. Mm-hmm. Justin says, Grant, when will you give Kyle the follow-up question if I need a better answer? The answer isn't good enough for me or the fans. You know, I was, I was hanging out with my dad this afternoon. He said, you know, Kyle's lucky I don't cover this team. I said, I know, I know. He said, I wouldn't let him blow me off the way he blows off some of you guys. I said, I know, and I feel bad. He didn't answer my question yesterday when I said, why do, why do you think, why are you so so confident that Jimmy gives you the, your best chance to win? And then I said, given that he's lost three in a row, and he's like, well, quarterbacks don't lose, teams lose. And I was like, that's on me. I should have said, you didn't answer my question, Kyle. Fine, answer my question. So next time I w- I'll say that, I promise. Uh-huh. I can do that. And the other question is from the Jedi uh, the, the, the conspiracy tin hat theory. I like it. My question is, did Kyle help put the scouting department together? And if your theory is right, should Jed step in now? What's good, Grant? No, he, this is the same scouting department that Trent Balky had. He inherited it. Yeah, it's true. Yep. The only thing they changed was uh, the GM and the head coach. That's right. All right. Let's get into the film because we are limited on time and we have a lot to learn. Let's do it. Boom. Okay. So we start off with the Niners. This is their first drive. This is their Best drive of the season, or one of them. Yeah, definitely. They're one of the best drives since the, the beginning of the, the first uh, drive against Detroit. And, and it was they started off in the same way, play action with a, with a bootleg here from, from Garoppolo. Little crosser from uh, from Debo, puts it on him. I always like when Kyle Shanahan starts games this way because it's his brand. It's his dad's brand. It's his brand, and it's a good way. These are layups. Good way to get your quarterback in the flow of the game. This is kind of Absolutely. stuff I think a lot of people would have liked to see against Arizona. Yeah, and then watch the linebackers, how hard they're flowing on, on it because they're, they're overplaying the strong side here, and so they flow and they give really hard flow to the uh, to the right. really opens it up. I mean, they're, they're not even yeah. flowing. They're, they're sprinting. Yeah. So excellent first play call, uh, play action bootleg. That's a play action uh, pass, and it's a nine-yard gain. Those are the two things I'm looking for. As quality control, it's my job to go back and see where Kyle could have done more of the things that worked. It's my it's my homework assignment. He just doesn't know that he gave it to me yet. <laughs> yeah. And then they run this little cutback. Nice gain for four. Yeah, that's just inside zone, right? Yeah. I like that you really see Brunskill help out McGlinchey on this one. He kind of gives the uh, puts a hand into uh I think that's Buckner's chest, and that allows McGlinchey to get there to make the block. Oh yeah, nice job on Buckner. They just, you know, because of the, the extra man in the block the box, there's the one guy they're not going to be able to get to. Right. And then they come back and they do something very similar again. Okay. And uh, Indianapolis started this game off with with these the two deep in the beginning. I'm not sure exactly what their thought process was behind doing that, but this is just a yeah. A really nice finish to the run by by Mitchell, and, and he's getting put helped along by uh, by his left guard there, Tomlinson, and I think Brunskill's going to be helping him out a little bit too. They're going to help kind of keep his legs moving. I just like charting the different concepts in the run game. So this is just an inside. It's a it's a look kind of it's an inside trap counter kind of a play. Okay, so you're blocking down, you're pulling and. Yeah, I mean, looks like power. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like an inside power. Yeah. Yep. And then, you know, here we go back to the play action game. Boom. Boot out. Oh, yeah. All day. Yeah. yeah. So the first two throws this game are play action. 
Yeah, easy. These are these are easy, easy. throws. Yep. And once it, it's they're both play action to the left, and they both work. And that's a nice throw. Yeah, I, I like the fact that he's able to get that off without having to stop. A lot of times we've seen yeah. Garoppolo roll to his left and stop, and these this you know we're seeing him be able to do it a couple of times here, moving. Yeah, keep it going. That was nice. Yep. I so said now they start running the ball. I think. Yeah, they're gonna. Uh, no, actually, they're, yeah, they're gonna run uh, Ayuk on the end around here. Ayuk needs to keep this outside. And it's like they show this this counter action, uh, and then they, but they don't do it yet. This is a good script. Yeah, and this this play should gain about seven eight yards, except for he cuts it up inside of, of Hushek. This ball needs to go to the Hushek's outside. It's, that's really. Who he should be reading off on this when he gets out to here is he should be following 44. He's the wide guy. Oh. And see, he's he's got him to the outside, so he's going to be turning. Oh. And so that ball's got to be going. That's why he gets That's why he gets blocked there. I think he might got get a it. little – I think he's following 25 instead. I think he should be following Husecheck instead of the outside. Makes sense. Because even if he makes this cut up right here, he's going to get blasted at about the 50 – or not the 50, about the 47, 48-yard line by, by, by that linebacker that's coming across. But not bad. And now, now you get Indianapolis sitting back with a you know a soft box because they've got two safeties high. Here we go. And they're going to run this one off tackle to the right side. Okay. Nice run. Yeah. Really good block, and they set it up. Just falling, falling. Who's checking to the hole and, and right off him? Just block down. This is a, another inside zone run. Yeah, it, it's a. It's actually. A, it's not a zone. It's a. It's a. It's a lead because they're going to okay. kick out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They're kick. Okay. They're kicking out the. They're kicking out the last guy with the tight end, and instead they're following. Up. It would be a power if if Huschek was kicking him out, but instead he's leading up through the hole. Okay, a lead. All right. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Nice one. They haven't done their counter gap stuff yet. Nope, that's coming up right now. Yeah, yeah, that's coming up now. So this next, the yeah. next one is it's actually it's going to be. Uh, I think this one's the counter. Yep. You have Dwelly coming coming across. Interesting. Yeah, they don't even. Yeah, and they don't even block ninety one. They're no, he, because they they what they're doing is they've set him up. They they feel like he's going to step down with everything because they're, they're he's right. going to see the zone going away. The every everybody on this is pretty much running zone to the right, except right. for the except for the running back and uh, and Twelly. Right, because the way you usually do this is this split belly zone. You get this guy to to, to block this guy here. And you run between the tackles, but he's actually faking that block going around, and you're that's very clever. That's yep. very clever. Right? Yeah, and you're making it, it look like split belly where he's expect this guy's expecting Dwelly to cut him, right? Absolutely. And he and he doesn't. He goes around. That's great. Love that. Love that. Yep. And then they're gonna come back on that right off of that on the next play. Okay, so that is a, a concept you gotta come back to because it freaking works. Let's see what happens next. So now they come right off of that. Remember on that last play, they made it look like they're running zone, but instead they ran counter. Mm -hmm. Now, now they're gonna run. Now they're just gonna go ahead and run straight counter. But all the all the blocking looks exactly the same. Right. Oh, now you got two guys. Now you got two guys coming around. Boom. Nice. But it's a, it's the same look, and I and I really like this one too. If you watch this one from the all twenty two view. Watch because they're, they've got eight men in the box, but those two linebackers in the middle they take themselves out of the play. One of them, one of them's chasing Huschek, and the other one's following Garoppolo. The one on the outside's following Huschek out. The other one's got his eyes on ah. Garoppolo until it's too late. They don't even get blocked. Boom, boom, yeah. Great. An, an eight man, an eight man, an eight man box becomes becomes six just by, by guys overflowing for I don't know why. Well, he's honoring this boot because it, it, you've you've established it and True. this use check thing going out for uh, he's essentially going out for a route uh sells the yeah. whole thing it's great yeah they really make it look like it and so basically what you've done in the last two plays is run the same concept but with you know different personnel groupings different 
window dressing. It looks like different plays, but it's essentially the same thing. It's the same. It's 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 yes. It's essentially the same thing, but just uh, like you just, said, the window dressing yeah, is different. Just different window dressing. Great. Mm-hmm. This is how you execute well. You find something you do well, and you keep doing it. That's your brand. That's your identity. I love it. Nice. Boom. One more time. <laughs> Sorry. I really appreciate it. Okay. Counter. That is your identity for this game. You should win on this play. And they don't. So we'll see. They're going to keep doing it in the first half. Yeah. So this is the very next play outside out of the – after the uh, after Ooh. the fumble recovery. And they come right back to it again. Same it's thing. Dwelling, it's Werner. Yep, it's the same, yep. exactly the same concept. It's you've now got three plays building off each other. Boom, boom, yep. boom. The, the whole first series builds into this series, and then it's after this that uh, I don't know what what Shanahan decides he wants to do. Right. And I just want to watch. You got him booting out here. It's all working very well. It's all tied together very well. Yeah. Man. And so you, you've just run the ball four times in a row for for more than ten yards. It was twenty. 14, 14, 12. Yep. And they go and away from it. You go away from it here. You go three straight pass. Okay, now you're in the gun on first down. Yeah, now you come out in a gun, and you're going to run the screen through out here to the same. Everybody knows where the ball's going before it leaves yeah. his hand. Yeah. There, there's not a chance. Yeah. But the one thing that I, one thing I'm going to say on this one, they're, they're trying to make it look like they're running out to the right side with the play yeah. action right there. Uh when they change the quarterbacks eventually, I'd like to see him run this and have him keep it. Ah, I like that. I like that. You have so you have running back going this way, Debo going this way, and Lance between the tackles. No, not even between the tackles. Take it out wide because that's what they're yeah, showing. I got it. Got it. Yeah. Love it. Love it. You can, love it. And you can even you can even have the running back do something on that. You know, and now they're gonna run now they're gonna go back to that play action. It's a little bit different look, they're a little wide. I think the ball should come out right away, but he doesn't see. He's not looking. He takes he takes his eyes off of Sam uh, Sanu a little quick, right? Right here, he's looking at Sanu, but Sanu looks covered. And then he starts to open up. And by this point, right now, his head's turned to the inside. He's looking at at Samuel, who isn't open. That separation there becomes it, the separation occurs when he takes his eyes off of Samuel and looks over to right. the right, right? Because it's. The safety is sitting there. The safety is watching him come across, and so he's sitting on top of that. If you watch it earlier, you're going to see he's, Samuel's basically running into him. He wants to yeah, hit him now. The action bootleg. Yeah. But, I mean, and he's got guys open. He's got Sanu open now, and then he's got Samuel open later. Yeah, and by the time by the time Samuel comes open late, it actually becomes to where he can get the ball out. He's, he's looking over here, and then by the time he looks back to him, he just doesn't have the ability to get his feet underneath him to throw Oof. it right there. It looks rough from the end. It looks like Samuel. Yeah, dude, you got to get him. So you got Sanu early. We, we've seen that in the all 22, but yeah. See, if he wants to, if he wants the problem, if he, he's looking here, it's, it's, he starts to come off because his eyes are looking out to the right. So that's the safety starts yeah. to fall back. And then before that point, Samuel was kind of drifting into him. It's, it's kind of a, a with a quicker quarterback here, like uh, if five's in the game, he might yeah. be able to have a little bit more space to where he can get the ball off and make it a little bit better throw. This is one of the, this is one of the few plays that I said, you know, I mentioned yesterday that there are some plays I think are different if if it's if Lance yeah. is in the game instead of Garoppolo. That's one of them. And this is another one here. They're, this is one of their their bread and butter third and ten beaters is is uh, over the middle to Sanu. And he, he they just covered up really well. I mean, Garoppolo just doesn't have the speed to get to the, get outside. Because this this is the this is like the play they ran. I'm pretty sure if we went back and looked at the Seattle film again, it'd be pretty close to the, what they ran against Seattle in the in a similar situation yeah. with Lance. Uh, the, and he hits Sanu. They do this a lot. This time it's it, they cover it up. They know it's coming. With with Lance there, I think he might be able to get to the first down, or he's, he's going to pick up some yardage. His, I think it's his feet are going to get him outside quicker. Twenty three does a good job there. There's no chance. You're muted. What's up with that? Can you hear me now? Yeah, now we can hear you. Okay. It's worth noting though that uh, three trade passes. 
Yeah, and, and that's and that's what I was saying. You know, they they come out and they they just ran, you know, four times in a row for plus ten yards, and then they come out after that first down, and they and they and they go three straight throws. It makes no sense. That's that's the kind of stuff that where Shanahan, you know, everybody wants to give him benefit of the doubt. That that's the kind of stuff for me. That's where I usually get frustrated with him. I think that's the kind of stuff where it doesn't make sense to go away from what's been working. Um, and so we're just doing the offense today, right? That's correct. Okay. Uh, the Ayuk thing isn't a mystery. Simple. All of his best games came with CJ and Nick outside of New England. He has no rapport with Jim, who only targets favorites. Be interesting. Be something to, I'd like to go back and look at Ayuk's numbers with Jimmy Garoppolo. It's something to think about. Interesting. They only, they only played together a couple of times. There you go. There you go. Interesting, interesting uh, observation. All right, back to the film. Yeah. Make it back to the run, a little toss here. Good job. Get a nice gain. Yeah, let's see how they how they block it up. This just is a like toss. The first play against Detroit. Yeah, it's just a pin with they, they pin him in with 44, 76 pulls around. Yeah. 89 pulls up, around. Yeah. Yep. Gets up to the second level. Nice run. It's a nice play. So that's something that they've been doing all season, not enough of, but it's been working all year. Yep. And that now they're gonna go back to their zone look. Play action it though. Yep. Over route, and he hits him. Nice. Offense still looking good. And this looks yeah. like, you know, a lot like that misdirection uh, play where he would come around and go around. This guy's all confused. Mm -hmm. Everything's tying together well. Yeah. Nice throw. He likes it. I don't know who that is. <laughs> yeah, he does. Uh-huh. He's got that jacket whipping. <laughs> All right. Okay. Still under center. Everything's looking okay so far. Okay, now. It's, it's, it? zone, it's, it's the same zone play like they ran for the touchdown. Okay. Okay. Except, except for this time, they're not going to jump out of the middle. Certainly. Oh, yeah, it is that same zone. Exactly, right? So you mm -hmm. comes over here. He comes across. But they've seen it now. Yeah, they've seen it. The, the linebacker staying home. That's the difference. Yeah. He doesn't go. He does, They don't. Yeah, okay. Really, in reality, pause it right now. 25 right. should have cut. 25 needs to cut off of McGlinchey's back. Oh, yeah, cut. Yeah, if he cuts here. Yep. Because you got the you've got the cut, you've got McGlinchey, you've got you know, people talk about his vision and stuff like that. Most of the time they're talking about the stuff on his long runs. This is an example of not having the vision to where he needs to go. He needs to cut cut put the the foot in the ground right here. Right when he puts that left foot down, it's got to be back towards the right off of McGlinchey's hip. Yeah, I'm with you. We just 2 yards that he could have got more. Mhm. Mm I'm pretty sure they now this looks like the play that they're going to run at this time, but that's the same form. That's the same formation and the same backfield motion as the play action that they threw down by the goal line. Okay. Same formation, and everything. So for this time, he gives it. It's, just, it's zone to the left. Yeah, with with no tight end. Mm -hmm. Because the well, what happened? Yeah, the the tight ends in the backfield, and he's going to try to cut it off. Okay. They just don't block. They don't block it very well on the front side on that one, and there's no cutback. McGlinch, McGlinch, that's uh, Brunskill. Brunskill's fault. He doesn't get his head across. Yeah. Oh. Now you're third and, and eight. Then, well, you got third, third and five. Eight. Third and five. Third and five, and they're going to try to take a shot to, to Hasty, who's got uh, who's manned up on the linebacker, and he's got him beat. And he falls just, down. Yeah, trips over the the monster. Twenty five. Yeah, the twenty five yard line got him. Yeah, twenty five yard line. That's a doozy, though. <laughs> it is. It's a, it's a bunch. They paint that one a little bit more than every the other yeah, yard lines, and so it's a little high. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. So Jimmy's really playing fine at this point. Oh. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> to the, All right. And, then, and yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, he's played. He's playing. He's the, played. the offense. Yeah. Yeah. He's played. He's played all right. And so that's the first quarter. Now we get into the second quarter. Now this is where things start to fall apart. Okay. 
Okay. This this is a they they open it up with play action same same look again as we've seen and he's gonna get he's got the over route to uh, Sherfield here yeah. he just doesn't get it out in front of him enough kind of oh, short arms the throw interesting that's yeah, a good call it's a good route it's a bad ball interesting mm-hmm. this doesn't now this is this is also his first throw into the wind remember at this point True. in the game the I, wind was people still may not have realized that on television but it was blowing this way very hard. And that's why I think Joey Sly made that 56 yard kick. He was kicking this way. Yeah. If they were going there, if they weren't going that way, they wouldn't have tried that field goal. Yeah. Interesting. So he would have needed to actually cut the ball through the wind. And he did not, as you can see watching it. I mean, that's a yeah. pretty, that, that's a, that's a dome throw right there. Yeah. And he's throwing it to the right spot. He just doesn't get it there. Yeah. It was evident that Wentz just had more power when necessary. In this, in this, in this kind of a game, than Jimmy. But I mean, we knew that already. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, it's not okay. So what do you – this is once again, it looks like he's leading this way and he wraps around this way. They used to do this stuff. Wasn't this the play they did against Cleveland uh, for Matt Breida's like 80-yard touchdown run? Remember that? Yes, at the beginning of the game. It's Yeah, it's the, it was, yeah. right? Yeah, it's the kind of stuff they do. It's kind yeah. of a misdirection. Yeah, that worked. Good run. You got third and four. Okay. Third and four. You don't have to be in the gun on third and four. I'm just saying. You don't have to be in the gun on third and four. That's all I'm saying. You can do play action on third and four. There's no rule against it. Yeah, but but even then, this isn't – Grop this is incompletion, but this is on Brunskill. Brunskill gets beat. Garoppolo's got a helmet in his chest as he's trying to throw it to a wide open hasty. He's just going to get beat by 93 or 94, whatever number is. Oh, yeah. Brunskill. Oh, oh. You see him do stuff like this. It's like, you're telling me Aaron Banks is worse than this. I, I, I can't believe that. Yeah. I don't know. I mean. can't believe that. And, and they say like, well, you know, it's a very intricate run game and Banks doesn't have it all down yet. I bet he's better in pass protection. I bet you he is. Mm-hmm. I bet you he is. All right, here we go. You're, you're muted, right? Sorry about that. So this is split belly, right? He comes across, takes out this guy. Inside zone. It, yeah, it looks like it. It looks, it looks like, like it. It looks like he just it looks okay. like he just kind of gets caught in the middle a little bit there instead of getting over to the to the left side fast enough. Yeah. Hey, yeah five right. yards. Run yeah, it's still, still it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's still a decent game. Okay. So we'll see what they do here on second and five. They're under center. That's a good start. They've been in the same kind of look throughout the whole they half have. for the most they part, certainly right? Certainly have, but with a couple of exceptions. Yep, really, just like when they fall, like when they're in third and third down, pretty much. And that awful RPO to Debo. Okay, handoff, and nothing. So let's see what you got. Split belly again, just to the other side. Yeah. But now just... you, you, you've kind of lost. I guess I understand what they're trying to do because they had the variation of this in the first quarter, and they're trying to go back to. They, th they thought they set this up, but they didn't. Yeah. The, by now, the linebackers are staying home. They're not. They're not overflowing like they were in the first quarter. Right. In the first quarter, they were they were really jumping around. Now they're much more relaxed. Also, I think it's. I, it seemed like Garoppolo is trying to figure out. You know which way to run the ball or or what he wants to do and he can't quite read the defense because he's got they're not declaring which safety is going to go back i don't know then he finally does and they run the ball this way and there's no there's no room yeah
Okay. Third and two. And then they try to run Jermichael Hasty on a, this little inside route. And I think his path was a little too far inside to begin with. And then you also have, I think he needs to be a little bit wider. And you're going to get uh, Dwelly get, he's not going to be able to, to really get much of a block. Is that two third downs they've gone to Hasty on already? Back to back. Back to back. Yeah, they, 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 they played in weeks, man. I mean, what? He fell on one. I I, I don't know, man. I, I, uh, I don't no, this like is, third down calls. This is third a third in a row. Third in a row, they went to Hasty on third down. Like, really? Why? Why He hasn't played in weeks? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know why they're using him instead of Sermon, other than the Sermon. fact that – Yeah, I, I think with the, I think the, th- the thought there is that he's a better receiver out of the backfield. He tripped over the 25-yard line. Yeah. No, I understand. I understand. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm not arguing with you. It's just, it's just yeah. incredible how Kyle Shanahan is so reluctant to like react to the evidence in front of him. He just, it's whatever he wanted to do. It's whatever the plan was. Yeah. Oh, okay. So here now they're in the gun. What is this? Hold on. First and ten, and they're in the gun. Okay. Yeah. They're in- All right. Here we go. This is the beginning and the end. And you're doing a gun sweep RPO that, yeah. Okay. To the right, uh, uh, no less. That's good. Yeah. And nothing really special. No misdirection. Just, okay. No, this is, you know, they just give a token throw fake in the back. He's not going to be weak. throwing that. Yeah. So, you, I mean, first and 10 in the gun. That was waste. And now you're back in the gun because you're behind the chains. Yep. So now, now they're in. Uh, is that second and eight? Yep. Oh, now you're empty backfield. That's great. Love this because that's what you want to yeah. do with Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah, but it's wide open. It is, and it just bounces off off his chest. I mean, this is a this is a this is a eight. You know, this is a gimme eight five yards, maybe even a first down if he just catches it. How many times have we seen it? How many times have we seen this this play though this year? I mean, I'm when I say play this Debo dropping a, a yeah. screen pass. Yeah, that hits him right in the chest. Yeah. Well, passes were an adventure for the Niners the entire game. And then here we've got. No, so now they're stuck because they don't do anything on that second and eight. Now they have a third long, so now they've got to get you know, eight plus. So he's going to have to go. He's he just going to miss the out too. He has Dwelly wide open, just misses him. Oh yeah. Nice route. Nice route on Darius Leonard. Oh yeah. The, the 49ers had a really good they, The 49ers, Darius Leonard did not look like no. one of the better best linebackers in the league against the 49ers, the way that they went after him. They, they had him beat a number of times. They just couldn't get the ball to the guy. Right. Okay, now he's under center on first down. Okay, they figured it out. Get back to that. But, oh. They drop, the, drop the snap and uh, pick up a yard. That's rough. I forgot about this. Oh. Ugh. Okay. Second and nine. You gained a yard. Nice. Positive play. So now you're back in the gun. Anytime the Niners are in the gun on first and second down, it's not good. It's not what they do well. It's not confident. Okay, so now they're trying that little sweep to the left, which didn't work to the right. Oh, boy. Yikes. Who got smoked here? He sees it late. He needs to cut up right now. He needs to cut up earlier than he does, and he stops his feet when he does. I don't think any – go back to the beginning from the start. I don't think anybody does. I don't think anybody blocks 94 because he's on the backside of the plate. It's supposed to go so wide. Right. Right. 50 gets smoked. That's who it is. 50 is the reason. Yeah. 50, 50 is the reason why he stops his feet because he gets exactly. pushed back. Watch Mac one more time. Shoot. Yeah, he's he's gets yeah, he's about four yards back, isn't he? Now we got what, third and twelve? Yeah, third and twelve. Fortinators haven't completed a pass in a while, and now they finally do. Yeah. And it's not enough. And he fumbles it. Oh yeah. <laughs> How have I forgotten this game already? (laughs) 
nice throw against the blitz. You're not going to make it and you fumble. So really, that's a really good sequence for Debo Samuel. You drop the ball, you fumble, you're going to drop one later that leads to a turn to an interception. Mm -hmm. Not a good game. No, he gets 100 yards receiving, so everybody forgets about those those plays. The fact that he he just dropped the pass on second down and he fumbles the pass reception. You think about it. I mean, they were winning until he fumbled, and they would never win again. They would never lead again. Am I wrong? Correct. Yeah. So. Okay, so there. This is great too. Right before halftime. Hold on. What's the situation we got? Uh, Fifty-four seconds. Niners have three timeouts. So do the Colts. Down one. I think Niner fans wanted something more than what they got. Well, this is well, then, four seconds before Kyle got booed off the field. Yeah, they come out here and they get a false start, though. True. Good so stuff. you know, they, uh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't know why they have Jermichael Hasty in the game. Yeah, there's no wow. reason to have Jermichael Hasty on first and ten in the backfield under the center, and you're going to run him straight up in the middle line of scrimmage. I just don't. Why? Yeah, I don't understand it. And that's nothing against Jermichael Hasty, but you, you drafted a guy in the third round, yeah. and, and you have an undrafted free agent that you signed last year in, in his place. Yeah. So that was a wasted play. And again, what was the concept here? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to chart this as quality control. You called. I mean, that's just pretty straightforward block in there. What, they, what is that? Just inside zone? Yeah, so it looks like it. Just, uh -huh. I mean, n nothing fancy there. Okay. So now just you, got, little, you got too many guys in the box. Yeah, so, okay, now you got uh, second and 13, and you let the clock go. You didn't call timeout. Okay, because you're really, you're, you know, afraid of them getting the ball back, I guess. You're in the gun. And you hand off to Hasty again on that sweep that still hasn't worked. Oh for yeah. three. Yeah, this time this time it's gonna be Brunskill in the backfield. Ninety-four. Yeah. Oh my god. It's that was a beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they were they're running real good and then all of a sudden here they, they and now they're gonna just kneel on and get out of the yeah, well, get out of it. 13. But and the two handoffs to Hasty were capitulation. Mm-hmm. Real quick, before we get to the second half, uh, East Dad says, before the loss to the Cardinals, I noticed McGlinchey talking to Garoppolo and Mac, and Trent went out and held twice each. Smell sabotage against Trey? Oh, my God. I hope not. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, we're all going to play bad today just to make Trey look bad. Hey, Grant, how are you? Uh -huh. <laughs> Is that Sardal? <laughs> hey, Sardal. I'm all right, man. Good to see you. It's good to talk to you, man. We'll, we'll, we'll do another show soon, all right? Um, anyone else? Sardal Gupta. All right, cool. Let's get back. Let's get back. All right, here we go. Second half. The legend, Chardal. The legend. Once again, I, I'm a stickler on this stuff, but first and 10, you're in the gun. Okay, let's see how it goes. First and 10, in the gun, play action. Nice. Hey, at least you had a little play action. That's good. I like that. That's, that's like an Andy Reid play right here. Yeah, one guy going this way, this guy coming this way, and you hit him right between the middle. I like that. Yep. I like that. I like it. I like it. Okay. First down? Yes. First down. And you're under center again. Nice. Confidence. A brand. Yeah, it's kind of back. People. people looking back. confident. <laughs> Ugh. It's an eight-man box. Play that was working so well where he would come across and not block the guy. Right, well, because this, on the other one, you take the counter step here and come back here. But in this one, it's just you hit it here. You're just this is, this is, yeah, this is the zone that they were running earlier. They've run this a few – you know, this is the same one that they were yeah. – yeah. And the problem is you, 76 doesn't make the block. Right. Right. You, he, he, he's coming down and, and just, yeah, he misses, misses, he misses the linebacker. He misses big time. But, again, what, what I'm trying to chart is th this beautiful freaking play where you – Make it look like split belly. They think you're going here, and you take this counter step and bend it back over here. You're averaging like 11 yards per carry on that run, maybe 12. Do it again. But no, but, we're going to do split belly. Oh, and again, it's the same thing with with with, with uh, use check running this route, right? 
Yes. And there's no reason, I mean, and what you're saying isn't wrong because the, the defensive end hasn't, isn't like the defensive end is, is staying outside because he's afraid right. that they're going to run outside of him. That right. defensive end still chomp, you know, he's still crashing inside. Right. And I understand they got it. They got a touchdown on this concept earlier, and that's why they're going back to it. But they had other concepts that were working. Okay, so now, now what is it? Second and six, and you're in the gun. That's unnecessary. Yeah, no, it is. That's that's where you just ran that play. So the, you just, if you kind of go back off of what their their process had been up to this point, your next play off of that is to come back and run the run the counter. That's yeah. that's the come off of what you just ran. Right? Thank you. Yeah, instead, that, that's the slider off the fastball, not this. Yeah. Instead, you go back to your your shotgun run game, and you just don't get anything. Yeah, your shotgun run game with Jimmy just ain't it. It's not. I'm sorry. That's well, it, really, it wasn't really all that. You know, it was okay last week, I guess, with with Sermon. But they got to get or with uh, Lance. But they got to. Yeah. Regardless, they need to just keep keep running the ball underneath center. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so they get okay. a, well, they pick up a yard there. Third and five. The, they rush to the line. Dude, dude. And they get a, dude. it's a false false start on. Uh, on 23. Why did they have to do this with, I guess. Okay. So you have 30 seconds on the play clock. It's third and five and you rush up to play. You know, you got dude, like you, Jamichael has been out for a month, man. Can you get him off the field? Dude, <laughs> Kyle. Oh my God. Yeah. It's just, well, this is going to be, it's just all it is. is it's going to be a quick screen to, to Samuel, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, with, with, out with the receivers out of that bunch. Look, you got four yeah. guys over there and he's, he's like, your. You know, he's just, that's, that's why they're rushing it though. Right. But, but hey, she just got to get up there and get set. Right. Oh, well, then he dropped us. You, drop, you know, poor execution. Well, you dropped the snap anyway. Players who, can, who can execute. Dude. Yeah. The ball hits him in the hands and he drops it anyway. One more time. I want to see that. Oh, must yeah. he just, he gets, he gets, he gets, he, in reality, he gets bailed out by the false start of hasty. He does. That's true. I forget, I've forgotten about a lot of these plays. I don't know what happened, but that, that game was a blur. Okay, third and 10. That's a nice throw. Yeah, it's a nice route. It's, it's a, a you know, that's per game. Uh -huh. That's this is one of their, their, one of the concepts they run a ton of. Just a little, they got a, a curl to kind of hold the linebacker with the in route right behind it. Or, uh, and it's the, it's, it's the throw that Jimmy throws the best. Yeah. See, they got really the out, nice. pulls pulls the linebacker out of the way, and then you've got the route right behind him. Yep. It's Great simple. Job. Yeah, simple, effective, first down, third and six, shotgun. Kyle, Kyle, why? Kyle, you're down one point. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> if I <laughs> – Yeah. Oh, man. I'm so glad I'm Just not actually quality control for them. Jeez. Just keep just keep running the stuff that you've you've you're, you're going away from what's been successful. There's no reason to get into the gun. Oh God! And it's like you haven't established any concept in the run game that works in this game from the gun. Why are you doing this? Okay, because you you like this play action concept. Well, they know you don't run the ball effectively from the gun in this game. Yeah, this and the guy, linebacker, guy, the linebacker doesn't even move. He just he just all. sits right in the hole. Lucky. Oh, one more time. It's amazing how good things happen when the quarterback is under center in this offense. Okay. Second and 10, he puts him under. Oh, wow. Last last series, second and six, he, he got scared. Second and 10, he's, wow, okay. Nice, Kyle. Because there's no rule against doing play action on second and 10 or handing off. Hands off, though. Five yards. That's five yards. Cool. What is What is the play? Uh... Yeah, it's that same one from earlier. The same mm -hmm. one. I like that, that counter. Well. Mm -hmm. I know we had a poor game, but I just like to say nice block by 12. No, that was a nice block by him there. That was. All right. Yeah. Third and five. More gets beat quick. Oof. There's nobody Oof. open. Your, your receiver that, the receiver that should be open in the middle of the field trips. Yep. And he just got to hold on to the ball. Is that Dwelly? It is Dwelly. Yeah, it was. Yeah, beaten pretty quick. Nice uh, tackle. Uh, then McGlinchy gets beaten a little later. Yep. Boom, boom. Nah, he's he's got a the the problem here is he, he's looking in the middle of the field because it's going to be open. He, where he's looking is is the right spot. The middle of the field is going to be open. Eighty two is open if he doesn't fall. He trips. 
over him over him yeah, yeah and then he gets hit and he has he has hasty out on the side as his check down guy but after he gets hit he's not going to get the ball to him because he's just trying to get a balance again but he so, needs to keep yeah. two hands well falling he- more getting beat and then McGlinchey getting beat yeah those were the three mm-hmm. mistakes that led to that mistake yeah and it's a yeah. that's a tough one but he can't fumble the ball of course not absolutely not but it's interesting there's like three mistakes led to the ultimate mistake Yes, okay. absolutely, absolutely, and now and now this 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 series right here is just a comedy of errors. First and ten, years. okay. Mm-hmm. They're under center. I mean, that's good. You have. You, I mean, you're not in total panic mode yet. You almost get Buckner to jump. It's their. They're going to give you that same zone look out of play action. Boom, right. hits it over the middle, completed. Nice. Mm-hmm. Except for the cool. except for you have your le- your left tackle. It's called for a legal man downfield. No, oh! he, he needs to keep this entire game, dude. What are you doing? Yeah, he and needs to like, keep. Oh, no, no, no. And he tries to come back. He tries to come back like he didn't do it. That was good. He, can, oh. he needs to keep himself flat. There's no reason for him to get downfield like he does. I know right. he, he needs to make it look like that's where he's going because they're trying to sell the run to draw the linebacker up right. so that Samuel can get behind him. But he, he's too far. He just loses himself when, when that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just yeah. Sit. Ooh. So that's that's where not having Trent Williams hurts you. Okay. So now you're first and fifteen and you're in the gun, which is where you don't want to be. Okay. Yep. And they're gonna have a shot play. It's open. And well he gets beat. Oh, nice play action with a pocket movement off off of uh off oh, off the gun. Yeah. So that's nice. It, and yeah, and what's supposed to protect him with Dwelly here. And, and he can't just, yeah. That's, you just got Dwelly on at the end. That's tough. Well, what's what's supposed to happen? Dwelly's got him. Dwelly's supposed to pin him in because yeah. they're trying to get they're trying to get Garoppolo to his outside. Right, of course. And, yep, and and he gets beat. You see the flag coming in before Garoppolo yeah. starts to step to his left. Okay, it's just it's. It, I mean, it's, it's it, you really have to have a hell of a blocking tight end to put him on a D end and feel confident. That's all I'm saying. Well, yeah, the, the, the expectation is that guys the guy does step in like they expect, right? Right. Right. And, and and Dwelly just needs to do a better job of, of kind of driving him down the line of scrimmage is really what he needs to do. Oh, he just hangs Doesn't, on and gets dragged. He does a terrible job. Yeah, um, exactly. I would think Kittle would do a better job here. I would of course. Uh it's that's a tough that's a tough assignment. But yes, it's a good it's a good play design if Dwelly's a better blocker. Yeah, and this is one of those plays I keep seeing. Yeah, you can pop order up. Here. So yeah, much depends yeah, on this no, block. Could, Put Warner there. I mean, I, honestly, could, I love Dwelly, but this isn't what he's not. A, he's not a blocking specialist. You don't throw him the ball. No, with with this with this with this set right here, it's it's. You're right. Warner should Warner should be the guy there, or if you want to use eighty two, whatever. You, but that guy's got to drive down, and if like you said too, if if it's if it's Kittle, it probably gets blocked up. My my whole thing on this one is this is a play that's popping around on on Twitter as far as that being a, a Garoppolo's fault. That's not Garoppolo at all. That's the tight, the tight end getting beat, and he's trying to get the ball out to where it's supposed to go. The other thing, too, when you watch you that from the L20. Things. You could say it's on the tight end. You could say it's on the play designer for asking the, the, sure. the backup tight end to do that block, Or, it, but it's hard to say it's on Jimmy. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. And then the other the other thing, too, though, when you show it from the L22, real quick again, we have sure, time. Sure. I think on this one, I don't think he's really running a post. I think he's going to be running a cross. Let's just watch his route. He's going to go. He's going up. He's going to go post. I don't – a corner. And then he kind of flattens it out real quick. I mean, he's going to go deep, but maybe he's flattened it out because he sees what's happening in the backfield. I don't know. Is this Ayuk? Because he's actually yeah. open. Yeah, it's Ayuk. Yeah, they're trying to go to Ayuk. They're trying to hit ah. him deep. Shanahan, Shanahan, this is one of the plays that Shanahan mentioned. When he was yeah, asked about it yesterday. Need, you would just need a hell of a block from, from, from Dwelly there. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I think you're right. If that's if that's George Kittle, you this is a this is a you, yeah, this you can a, call that play with confidence if it's Kittle, but with uh-huh. Dwelly, I mean that that's what that's what I would expect to happen. Nothing against yeah. Ro- I love Ross Dwelly, but that's not. Oh yeah, it's not no. a strength. No, that's a no. end. That's a freaking. He's probably two hundred and seventy-five pounds. Good luck. Yeah, he, Ross. he just needs to. He needs to keep driving that thing down. Yeah. And he didn't he, drive he, at all. He at no. Time, he just grabs on for dear life there. And yeah. <laughs> Okay. If he just if he does if he just blocks him like he's run blocking him, he I think everything works out fine. Let's say he's able to drive him down like he's run blocking him. It's it right. it all works out. But he goes and now, like pass protection mode. Like no, dude, no, no. Yeah, I can't, and, and, I can't and mirror this guy. 
Yep. Empty, they're going to go screen to, to 15, and he drops it. If that was Kittle, you wouldn't shut up about that, Grant. Be consistent. Quality control. He said with – with <laughs> dude, dude, I just, just said that Kittle would just, get that block. Also, just, he's paid $16 million to get that block. We, we just – we just spent five minutes saying that Wally blew the blew the yeah we blew that all right blew the block we blew the block yeah then they run the screen yeah. so they so they've they've got an illegal man downfield they've got a holding and now they got a drop oh. hold on hey, this is first and twenty five and you're throwing to Jennings who was inactive two weeks ago uh, I, look I like Jennings um but you know you know Ayuk Ayuk <laughs> Ayuk, please. This is the, the, it's the kind, of, it's the kind of play that they threw to Ayuk last year, right? Yes. I mean, it, last year this is this is similar to the, the throw that they threw to Ayuk, the ball they threw to Ayuk for the touchdown against the the Eagles. Now this year they're they're giving it to Jennings, and it, they've been doing it with Jennings throughout the year. Yep. At times, hey, they threw it to him there though. Hey, there he is. <laughs> That's it. I mean, That's all you get, and he caught it, and they're still not happy. Because he, he wasn't draw. quite open enough when he caught the ball, Jack. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. Get yeah. You, you, would, you, would, you would think you try to get the ball to your best receiver every once in a while. And now you're oh, in third and nineteen. Smart people do. I don't know what <laughs> third and Jesus. Yeah, third and nineteen, and this is just a give up call. Let's let's get off the field. Okay. Might as well just might as well have just handed just had the quarterback yeah. take a sneak. You're gonna pretty this. much. Yeah. Okay, so first and ten, they are still just it's a one score game and the fourth quarter just started. Yep, and this is this is uh, another three and out, but of a different variety. Okay, they haven't gone back to that wonderful uh, counter design since the first quarter, and it's killing me. Yeah, and that's a nice. This, throw. Yeah, and this one they've got. They've got. He can go either direction. He's got. He's got Debo and Ayuk both open. They're both running. They're basically just running across each other's face, and he needs to pick a side. You know what? I I I feel like they've had a ton of success in this game booting left. Yeah, booting left. That's Can primarily what they, more. primarily what they've done. Yep, boot left, and I love the boot left throwback. Right, love that. This is a lot like uh, that touchdown pass that Lance had in, in the preseason. Very similar. Yes. Hold on. How do they block it? Is Dwelly involved? No, it's Warner. They got it's, Warner. It's, hey, what do you freaking know? I should coach. <laughs> <laughs> it's all it's all off of it's all it's all zone it's a it's they've went they've gone back on this play they went back to their what they've been doing throughout the game they're showing that hard zone which they've been running so much bootleg off it look at all the the linebackers and they have two guys protecting it. and not just one it's Werner and use check not just dwelly good job kyle he made the adjustment yeah nice and you get a big play out of it all right first and 10 to 41 let's see how he messes this one up Jack. same look again to the right. Oh wow, Except, he's open. Beautiful. Oh, this is this is the this is the beautiful drive, right? It is. It is. That's why I was joking around. That's why I said oh, it's a three and out. But three and out, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. Right, because the best thing an offense could do is one and out. <laughs> exactly. One and out. Yeah, I like that. Let's just go one and out. Touchdown. All right. So that was a cool play to Warner. You booted left. You booted right. Now you're going to do a play action straight straight drop. I think. I think it's no going to be. He's going to come around and – okay. So you move the pocket a little bit to the left, but he stops. Was he looking at the tight end first? Is that the first read? Probably. Yeah, he's, look, he's looking to the tight end. It's red. Uh, this is a really nice play. It's a really nice adjustment by him and, and Debo. Debo. Because this, right. it's, it's, it's supposed to be boot. He's, they want him to hold up. They want him to go to the tight end. And, and Samuel's supposed to come across. There's nobody – he's – And if he's not, he right. can go here. But mm -hmm. he's not really open either. And, and Debo, so what do you do? This is cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice come off it, find an open spot, and Garoppolo yeah. holds on to it and puts Show it on him. Poise and confidence and creativity. It's a really nice. This is, you know, honestly, it's one of the better plays Jimmy's made in a while. Now he had time to make it. Great. Yeah, great he had, it's a, it's a great play between both of them. Yeah. Really. He, yeah, absolutely. He, he, he does a nice job of, of holding it. Ugh. Yeah, there's just nothing open on that one. I don't see where he's throwing the ball. <sighs> Why are you in the gun? Why? It's just not your brand. You yeah. Know, your offense is not as good in the gun, especially with this quarterback. He's not a running threat. I just don't see it. I don't get it. Well, 
that plus plus nobody on the on the Colts was worried about Jermichael Hasty beating him. <laughs> That's a better point. Why is Jermichael Hasty in the game? Why? Why? I like Jermichael Hasty, but why? You don't trust Trey Sermon, but you trust Jermichael Hasty to do. To, I'm sorry, it doesn't make any sense, sir. Sir. Okay, here we go. Uh, the score is. They're down twenty. Five. Yeah, 2318 because they, they had a long drive, kick a field goal. They're down five. Still a game. Back under center, back to their, their zone. But uh, that's a nice gain. It's a good gain of uh, four or five yards. But McGlinchey, not not McGlinchey, that's going to be, uh, let's see who it is that gets beat. 99 gets across somebody's face. Run skill. Yeah, and again, like it's split. It's just split belly with him coming across and cutting him down. Like, why don't you go back to that variation that was working and get outside? It would work. It would so work on this play if Usechek went around fifty three and he bounced outside. It could have been there. I don't get yeah, Usechek's got it. Usechek's got it. I don't think he does a very good job on this block. I think he needs to. He needs to get turned his hips around a little bit more instead of blocking him the way he does. Okay. He needs okay. to get outside of him and turn him a little bit more instead. So that, because the way that he blocks him, uh, 53, I mean, he's a really good linebacker. He's able to just come right off it and make the play. Mm -hmm. Okay. Second and six and you're in the gun. Something good's going to happen. Probably. Yeah, this right, is probably going to get the ball. I'm thinking. But, no, it's going to Werner. This is a this is a tough one because the way they line up and the, the routes they run, you know, the certain six and everybody's running routes at, at six yards. Yeah. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, you've got Husecheck and 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 Ayuk are basically covered by the cornerback because they're sitting in zone. They're in a kind of a cover two, I think, when this one gets snapped. Yeah, this guy can get both of them. Yeah, he's got he's got both of them covered down there at the top of the screen. You got the the, the slant running right into a linebacker. So that's the only guy that's open is is the, uh, the run. Yeah, it's just Terrible. not a very good. This is awful. Bobby Slowick, not impressed. Or Kyle, I don't know. Okay, third down. That's great. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this sets up the third and three. This is the one everybody's talking about because you're going to get, you're going to get. Um, oh, this is the interception. Sanu open over the middle. Yes, he's going to come over. But they're showing they're showing pre snap. It's it's cover one down on the bottom. He comes open early, but the only way that that ball is going to come out is if he declares before the snap that he wants to throw it to the right. Cause it's a quick, this is a quick, so it's got to come out fast. I don't think that ball ever gets, that ball's coming out of his hand. And it's supposed to be coming out of his hand before Sanu really breaks free. So, he, you know, looking to the left, he's got, I see what you're saying. I mean, he's I don't got, know. He's got Debo one-on-one. -on -one, so why wouldn't you like that? And that's when, and that's, and that's kind of the problem is that you've got right. Debo one-on-one on one on the one-on-one. -on -one, and if he's your best receiver, that's who you want to take the shot to. Right. You know, when, when, when we asked Shanahan yesterday, if any of these interceptions, you know, what he'd want to have back, this isn't the one that he talked about. He was right. talking about the one, the second one, it was, it wasn't this one. I think he was fine with where the ball went on this throw. The ball hits, it, the ball hits Debo and it's, he needs to make the catch. I know it's, a, it's not in the right, the ball needs to be a little more to his outside, but it still hits him in the chest. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you on that, man. I'm with you. You know, I didn't really fault Jimmy for this pick. And after the game, I faulted him for the fumble, which he's at fault for, even though there were three people who made mistakes before him and the second fumble, the, the second interception. We're going to see that one too. Uh, I'm with you on this, man. This was actually, it, it's a fine, it's a fine read. It's third and three. You got one-on-one -on -one with Debo. He's essentially open past the marker. You hit him in the numbers. Uh, it's not the best throw, but dude, freaking catch the ball, Debo. What is your dude? He he's the whole offense goes through you, but if you give him ten targets, he'll drop two of them and fumble one. So what's what good is he? Yeah, I, I'm not yeah, saying he's, he's a bad player, but like for someone who's supposed to be a superstar, uh, I don't know that he can justify it. The more you give him the ball, the, the strange things happen. Yeah, and 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 the thing with this play is everybody sees Sanu run up the middle, but I don't think again unless that's the side. That, like I got, you got to go back to I, I'm going back to what Shanahan said, I, and I said this before I heard Shanahan say it. But you're looking at you're looking at a side. Yeah, I understand you. I understand the reaction because you see Sanu coming open. 
they they do this a lot where they get into the trips and then the, the bunch like that and then they throw well, out part, a, part to the part opposite side. Coming open is because this, the the middle safety is it, well. First of all, Jimmy's telegraphing the throw. The middle safety's reading him. He's vacating the middle because he's going to where Jimmy's going. I mean, if Jimmy were looking here, the safety would be over here. Well, and they also and they bust the coverage. It's a busted coverage. They the, they have two guys follow the huge check. True, but look at the free safety. I understand. Yeah, no, he's he's reading Jimmy. From the time this ball snapped, Garoppolo is going to his left. Yeah. I mean, Watch his feet. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You know, Jimmy. So this, yeah. this, they're, I, and, and who knows, maybe this is a play. Maybe part of the reason why Shanahan's not put in on him is because maybe Shanahan said, this is what you're going to see, and this is where I want yeah, you to go. It, it, Kyle it, is that kind of guy. I want you to go to Debo. It could it could have been that it could have been that and 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 even if it's not even if it's just on Jimmy I don't have a problem with him going to his best receiver on third and three and hitting him with it. Yeah. Okay. Next series. Right. Um, That's it. All right. Jermichael gets the ball. Does something good for the first time. That's good. Nice. Yeah. Now they're they're down by twelve. So it's just garbage time. That was another one over the middle to uh, to Dwelly. Dwelly. Okay. Yeah. That's to, to Hasty. Yeah. Because now it's the time to get Hasty involved for sure. Yeah, this is the interception. This is the one where where you know Shanahan says he wants him to go somewhere else. I think he wants him to go to to Ayuk at the top of the screen. He's got him open in the. He's got a bigger hold Ayuk at the top. Yeah, because that looks like quadruple coverage. Yeah, that's a. I mean, that's damn. a tough hole. That's look at. That's I mean, tough. that ball's already been thrown. That ball's already been thrown. Let's go back to right before he throws it. Right there, you see, he's going to have him open. I think that's because he's yeah. got it. He's got that safety off deeper. I think that's a better throw off to the left side. Yeah, and then the ball slips out of his hand. Overthrow. It doesn't matter if it slips or not. That ball's that's a bad. That's a bad read. Yeah, that's a bad read. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Ooh, that really does come out of his hand, funky. <laughs> oh. Man, that's we talk. Whoa. We talk about the wobblers with uh, with Lance. Look at that thing. Whoa! Oh, wait, whoa. <laughs> that looks like the guy on the beach. Like a guy on the beach trying to throw a a, a a nerf ball into the wind at the beach. Honestly, yeah. That was like uh, I didn't know balls could move that way. Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah. and now the game's over, right? Yeah, and then they get the sack here. The and Forest Buckner funny, finishes right? the game off. Which yeah, is just, I don't know, perfect right, finish to the game. I don't know if you, yeah, pretty much Buckner against McGlinchey. How did I? I see. I think I was not watching as closely at the end. No, we were in the elevator at this point. I think that's pretty. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, well. Fitting yeah. end to a atrocious game. Um, I gave Jimmy Garoppolo an F for that performance afterward. He did turn the ball over three times, and that's the primary reason I gave him an F. Um, the second one, I don't think it was his fault. Still, two, nerv- two turnovers isn't great. It wasn't the. It was. He did better than I thought. I mean, at, my impression after watching this was, you know, I. I understand Kyle not benching him in the sense that it's not his fault they lost, but I don't understand Kyle not benching him in the sense that it's not working with Jimmy. And you need to acknowledge that you're now a team that's playing for next year, dude. You need to acknowledge it, and he won't yet. And I understand they're only two and four, but um, he's kidding himself. Yeah, that I mean that's the that's the other. Thing. I, I understand it too. Uh, I I got it. I didn't. I heard it, but it wasn't something that I thought of right away when I heard him say it yesterday. But he talked about going, you know, the three and six start, how they made the playoffs that year. What he year started was a rookie. That was yeah. in 2012 when he had a rookie. That's right. You know, and he got better. You, I mean, he, <laughs> yeah, he got better. I mean, and I think the problem that the 49ers have right now is is that I don't think it really matters whether you have Garoppolo or Lance in the game. The problems that they're having right. Right. go beyond the quarterback position. Yes. Because the, the same the problems the problems that we saw in this game from the offense were the same problems we saw two weeks ago with Lance at quarterback, and it was what we saw before, you know, against uh, Seattle and so on. If if and if the time comes or when the time comes that they finally make the move to Lance, I sure hope that they use this offense with him though. Yeah, thank you. Because this is this because yeah. this is this is what 
if, if they do this with him in this game for Jimmy, that's perfect. You could do more. Yeah. 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 I, I don't, I don't think there's anything that was in here that, that would be outside of what he would be comfortable with doing, or you should expect him to do. Right. Um, I have one more thing I want to add since I came into the game looking, um, f- trying to chart the different run concepts and see like when Kyle banded, which ones, the <laughs> one concept that I thought was just genius. We talked about it. They showed it early in the game. It looks like split belly zone where you get the guy coming across and you try to hit sort of an A or B gap on the other side. But no, it's counter. You take one step that way, you come this way, and he slips that block and you go around. It's genius. And it worked. Mm-hmm. And they didn't run it after the first quarter. That kills me, man. That kills me. Yeah, that's true. Because they kept they did they did go back to the zone look, the split belly look, but they didn't come to the, they didn't come back to the counter off of it. Kills yeah, me. and that's that's and I know, the kind of I, stuff. I know it's hard for a head coach. There's so many things you got to watch and pay, keep attention, keep track of. He needs to have someone in the booth tracking these things. That's what quality control is. Well, that's Kyle, what the quality. You're averaging that's 12 what, yards of carry on this concept. Don't forget it. You're averaging yeah, 12 well, yards of carry. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what the quality control guys that they have on staff are right. supposed to be doing during the Chart game is charting time. this stuff and, and get hey, that Kyle, down to. You haven't called this in a while. I'm just. I, I know you haven't forgotten, but you're averaging 12 yards of carry on this. You might want to come back to it. And he yeah. didn't. It kills no. me, man. And I remember th- I've been doing this for a while and Harbaugh was great. And Greg Roman was great. And they were really good with the run game. And I remember they lost a game to the Chiefs. I think it was Andy Reid. Um, they lost a game and they had they had something that was working. I think it was like the, the crack tag where like, you know, block down and you, and you pitch. And it was something that was working and they didn't get back to it. And I, I went back and I charted and I said, Greg, on a Thursday, you had you averaged. You, you, I think you got 27 yards on three carries with this concept. Why didn't you come back to it? And he said, "That's a good question. It's on. It, it's uh, my job as the offensive coordinator to continue doing plays at work. I, I, that's on me. That's what he said. And so I was like, okay, fair enough. Good answer, Kyle. It's on you. It's on you. It's it's you owe it to the 49ers to not abandon something that works, especially when your offense is struggling. If you had a million other things that were working fine, but you don't." You had two things yeah. working in this game, that and play action, and you only scored 18 points. Yeah, yeah, and, and, I, and I like the fact that you asked that question, and then that's the response that you got from Roman because it, it shows, you know, it's not putting it off on somebody else. It's, yeah, that's a mistake by me, and that's something yeah. to maybe, you know, bring up uh, yeah. tomorrow. You know, yeah. the, the Shanahan is, hey, you, yeah. you, you, you were killing it on the, on the, the, the counter, and you went away from it completely. Why? Right. And know. he'll always say, well, you know, if we'd be better on third down. No, 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 Kyle. No, I just watched the entire All-22. All those times when you went to the standard split belly, one of them. I don't even know what the word is for what you called, for what you designed in the first quarter. It was just brilliant, and I loved it. And you could have done it more than twice. I think you did yeah. it twice. Was it three times or twice? Once the, the, count, uh, the, count, the counter, I think they ran it two or three times. Two or three times? Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. Well, I always love watching the film with you, man. It's, it's illuminating, and uh, it takes the guesswork out of it. We know exactly what happened, Jimmy. Once again, not as bad as, yeah, you know, it was. It's the same thing with Mullins last year. Quarterback loses the game. There's a lot of like, "Do you suck?" But you go back <laughs> and watch. It's like, well, you know, it really isn't all him. But the big picture is here. It's not working. And if mm-hmm. you need a spark, if you need to plan it for the future, when are you going to start doing that? And it's not a Jimmy problem. That's a Kyle decision. And I just, I, his decision making, one after another, I'm lost. So I don't well, know the, I'm- the you, you you've asked me this question. Um, when do I feel like they're going to make the move? You asked me that question, and I think yeah. it might. And that was, I think, back uh, a couple weeks ago before the, the Arizona yeah. game. Uh, you and I had a conversation, and I told you then I think it's not going to happen until they're out of it. Okay. No, and that's what he said, yeah. right? Like when we're that's, eliminated. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what he said. He, he kind of he kind of hinted at that. You know, that's the direction that he wants to go. Uh, Strange though. I mean, you know, compare we'll, it to the Bravens. Like they didn't wait until they were eliminated to go to Lamar Jackson. They waited until they were one game under five hundred. They're like, okay, that's enough. Sure, <laughs> we're not. That's enough. <laughs> the Niners are like, mm, we can't. It's just strange. I mean, what makes you so confident that that not Jimmy can turn it around? That the team with Jimmy can turn it around? As I, just, I, I don't, I'm not confident in that. Yeah, I, I think that if if. Um... It would have been interesting to see the decision-making process that he would have had to go through if Lance didn't injure his knee in uh, in Arizona. That I think that changes that changes the, a little bit of. The, I think that's got to be taken into consideration when we're when we're ripping on Shanahan for what he's doing right now. Yeah, because maybe we're gonna see him against Arizona or on the Monday night game against or the Rams. Maybe the injury is more serious than they've said. 
they do that a lot. They'll be like, it's it's just True. a one to two week injury. It's not that serious. And then they'll, two weeks later, they'll be like, oh, well, that was that was a big injury. Did we not say that? Well, we meant to say that that was a really serious. <laughs> they do that all the time. <laughs> True. He said that yesterday. It was a big injury. Oh, were yeah. you said it? I thought you said it was a mild injury. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. I guess it's none of our business, right? Yeah. Victor says that's a play Kyle would come back to and have Jimmy look the other way. Sorry, that was about. 15, five minutes, uh, 15 minutes ago. I don't know what we're talking about here. Sorry. Okay. But, yeah. Bay Area Baller says five yard hitch versus press is not the read work the trips. This was five. This was. Yeah. He's talking about, he's yeah. talking about the interception. Uh, uh, the, the first one. He's talking yeah. about that one. Uh, the reason I know that is he said that to me yesterday on Twitter. Uh, and I, enough. and I, under, I understand it. I understand the people that say work the trips. I also, I also understand work your best receiver because if Joe Montana is out there and he's got Jerry Rice on the left side, you go to Rice, right? But that's what he would have done. But, or maybe, maybe in that situation, you you adjust the route and give him like a fade or something like that if it's versus press. Yeah, it could have been. I mean, yeah, yeah, maybe there's yeah, there's lots of different ways that it could have been. But in third yeah. and third and three, I don't think you want to go down the field. But Man. it's 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 also again. I mean, it, it seemed to me that Sanu was open because the middle of the field. Safety, I know there was a coverage bust, but that middle of the field safety would have been there had Jimmy not telegraphed it to the left. Sure, and 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 then for, and at the same time, if Jimmy decides that he wants to to throw to the trip side, to the to the bunch side, and you don't have the bust, then everybody's saying, "Why didn't you throw it to Debo? He's your best receiver." What I want? What I want? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's 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 a reaction post play to yeah. to seeing the guy right, run, streaking down the field, of course. And, of and course. on top of you know, and it's it's blown up across everywhere. That's why I like to focus more on you demonstrated you had a a play that worked in your run game and you and you went away from it after the first quarter. That's on you. That's mm-hmm. not Monday morning quarterback and being like, hey, these things didn't work. No, you this this worked. You knew it. You had the numbers, the yards per carry, and you just forgot about it or whatever. That's on you. Yeah. Um, I mean, they, they didn't run the ball well after the first. They ran really good in that first series of the game. I think they had 70 yards or something like that on those first few carries. And then they only ran the ball for about 40 yards the rest of the game. It seems to me what they were hoping was that by doing like, I don't know what they call that concept, but it's you a fake split belly where you slip the block and take it around outside like a counter. I think they were hoping that that would sort of soften that unblocked D end and it would make the split belly more effective because all of a sudden he's not crashing down. He's waiting back and there's this huge hole, but it didn't work out that way. He still kept coming down. And whenever they ran the split belly, there was no hole. So do it. Keep doing it. It's working. Keep doing yeah. it. What do you yeah, call the, that? The, I don't know, counter. Yeah, the, the, you're, you're right. The, 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 the hope is that you get the, the end sitting so that you can run up inside of them. Of but the, the end never... Happened. The end never the end never softened up and and then when they ran it up inside and they still gained a few yards they the next play call should have been somebody telling him go back to the counter because he's yeah. still he's still hitting it hard they yeah. Yeah. that's that's why yes. you have the guy yeah. that's why you have the guys up up there to yeah. tell you that kind of stuff I, to, yeah. to me like this is I, I like using baseball metaphors because I played baseball to me it's like that counter was the slider in the dirt that the hitter couldn't lay off. And you've mm-hmm. seen it. You've thrown it down and away twice, and they're flailing at it. And you don't keep throwing it, dude. That's awesome. You throw that every time. You're sure. not throwing strikes, and he's swinging. Why are you throwing fastballs inside? What are you doing? That's the way I look at it. Like, dude, you got it. You, you owe it to the whole team to keep doing that, pitcher. Yeah, pitcher. no, you're, you're. Come on, bud. It no, works. One hundred percent. That's 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 what Shanahan did in 2019 yeah. in the yes. championship game, right? Yes. I mean, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. you can't hit the slider down and away. Well, that's all I'm throwing today. So I'm uh-huh. throwing today, and you lost. Good luck next year. Because yeah. they, they, the Colts, the, the Colts never, the Colts never showed that they could stop both of those plays together. The 49ers just stopped mixing them up because they they got slowed. They kind of got off track, and I don't, and they just never found their way back to it. Yep. Well, learning, <laughs> learning lessons, <laughs> Kyle. Uh, I want to get that quote from Greg Roman because I never ever delete any of my transcripts. I could get that one anyway. That was mm-hmm. fun. That was fun, Jack. Yeah, we definitely. Learned. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Jack. Well. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you yeah. for watching. Tell you had you had another one. Tell him that oh, uh, the answer the answer to the question was a two dollar one. He was asking if they got away and they threw the ball too much. Jack, did the uh, Niners force the pass too much? I don't. I don't feel like they forced the pass too much. I, I think they. I, I don't know. What do you think, Grant? Do you felt feel like they forced it too much? The only time I would say they forced it too much was was early on in the game. That's yeah. when I feel like they forced it. The that, that one the, where they where they had the three straight. Yeah, the, the second possession. Is, I don't look, it's not that they didn't run the ball enough and they didn't pass the ball enough. They had 
run concepts that work and they got away from it. They had pass yeah. concepts at work and they got away from them. That's the problem. Like all of a sudden the fourth quarter starts and they have that easy ass drive of three plays. Like, wait a second. Wait a second. It's, it's that easy. Uh -huh. How do you explain the last two quarters? So yeah, I mean, that's just kind of losing your rhythm and getting away from stuff that works. That's why this game was so maddening. They had a run concept that worked and a play action concept that dovetailed off of it. And you couldn't make it. Come on. Well, Come on. yeah, wow. it's like, it's, it's look, look at the, the, like that. The, the the they they get the touchdown running they run the ball good on the, I'm going back to the beginning of the game they run the ball good on second down on first down three straight passes out you know they <laughs> what? They, they kick a field goal then they go three straight play action passes down the field showing that it works mm -hmm. and they come out of, they come out of that with a run which is fine but then yeah. you go but then the next uh, now you've got second and six it's a perfect play action down perfect. and you go and you and you go and you go shotgun with with uh quick game everybody within five yards of the line of scrimmage you know one guy covering two kind of thing and yeah it, yep. there, there's no there was no that's a that's a that's a bad yep. play call yep. um path yep. from shanahan my favorite thing to do when we do oh, all 22 go. is to critique the coaches because it's important to critique the players too but i feel mm -hmm. like you know you, anyone could do that not anyone but it's right in front of you taking it to the next level is not, not criticizing the coaches, but honestly critiquing them and praising them for what they do well. And I think, I think we did a good job of that today. So yeah, it was fun. You, yeah, it, it was, was a, it was the, the 49ers just continue to give us good things to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> this season, you know, last season was bleak and disheartening and depressing. This season could be even worse, but it's very interesting because like, when are you going to go to Trey? Are you not going to go to Trey? Like, even though it's a, it's a bit of a train wreck, I, I think <laughs> it's I, Niner fans are not going to check out on this season. People are very freaking interested as to what's going to happen. Like, Kyle, uh, are you going to be here? Is Trey going to be? Like, what is – is there a future that we can be hopeful for here? Yeah. If they yeah. lose to the Bears, here's my question. Because everyone's – here's after the game. You know, everyone's like, what happened on third down? What? Ha Forget that. They lose to the Bears. I'm Kyle, it's my question. Kyle, you've now lost five in a row. Um, you didn't play any of your rookies really in this game, other than you know X X Y Z. Uh, you have no first round pick next year. You have no first round pick the year after that. Why should anyone be confident in the direction of this franchise? How about that? That's the question. If they lose to the Bears, right? That's the question. And that's a fair question. So give us something inspirational, Kyle. Give us something inspirational. No, I, I agree. I agree. Like, oh, uh, I, I didn't say you should be confident in the future of the franchise. That's good. I like that. I like that, Kyle. That's good. I didn't say you should. <laughs> good. Good. Then let's fire you. I'm just saying, yeah. beat the Bears, Kyle. Beat the freaking Bears. They're scoring 14 points a game. I think you can do it. I believe yeah. you. I, I'm pretty sure I know. I can get. I could give you the answer to what he's to that question. What will he say? We we just it, it's Trey Lance. We we just do our first round pick is we have a first round pick next year. It's Trey what? Lance. I'm right, just where saying. is he? Uh huh. No, when, when I, I hear you. What are you gonna play? No, I, I'm not, that's not for you. I'm just saying. Okay, no. what are you gonna play him? And and, and yeah. why should the fan base be confident that Lance is gonna tear it up next year if you're not gonna play him at all this year? If he's not ready now, why is he going to be ready next year? But we're, I'm not going to argue with – he can't argue with the head coach in a press conference, but let him say something inspirational. Oh, it's Trey? Great. Okay, cool. Good. You should, you should argue. Great. Tell tell, tell, tell him to answer your question. Answer my question. Like, okay, that's like the end of the like, show. I think. I, I, oh, no, there's one more. Hold on. There's one more. There's you, one more. you know a guy used to tell – just tell him to answer your question? You ask a question. I asked you a question. That's my <laughs> Remember question. My dad asked John, Jed uh, York something, and Jed said, I don't know how to – I don't know – how to answer that i don't know i don't know what you want me to say and, and my dad just reached for the microphone and said say something I said, no, I, wasn't that wasn't that wasn't that when he asked him if he was going to fire himself yeah, yeah. <laughs> kyle does not make a d defend the whole field that's why it all falls apart i thought he used to man i thought he used to i don't know yeah. what's going on well when you look at his concepts it's definitely the case sometimes feels might be the one to break kyle's back oh wouldn't that be irony the <laughs> guy that he didn't even <laughs> Want he was draw oh you draw we drawing up for place for Lance when you left okay I don't know anyway all right the show is over everyone thank you very much I'll be back tomorrow take care show's over.